What's up? How are you guys today? We're gonna do a little kitchen tour, refrigerator, pantry haul, show you guys what I've been eating lately, what's going on in my diet. And I'm excited because you know we've done a few upgrades here and there, have increased the quality slightly. So definitely check, just fucking watch the fucking video, okay? Watch the fucking video. Cause I'm tired of making YouTube videos and I wanna retire. Guys, please excuse my conniption. I have not been uh, in the best mood. <laughs> So here on the stovetop, we have our overnight oats that we made last night. If you missed the recipe, it was on Saturday, but let me show you guys the ingredients. Before this, we were doing the uh, instant oatmeals, which you know have a lot of downsides to them. So these are the current oats I'm using, Bob's Red Mill Steel Cut Oats. They haven't been steam processed or anything. I'm actually gonna call them up and double check and see what they do to their other oat products to see if I have any different options. So just three quarters of a cup of oats is enough for two days worth of breakfast. And then we'll add a little bit of sugar, a little bit of uh, maple syrup, and then sometimes some honey. A little careful on the sweetener. You don't want to add too much. And then we just have a little bit of vanilla. That's what makes the main flavor. That makes it really, really enjoyable. With breakfast and every meal, I have an organic honey crisp apple. So we have some here, some more apples down here. So I'm eating, you know, two, three apples a day at least for the fiber content, the sugar, feed the gut bacteria, and really just kind of like dessert and enjoyment. You know, I have been doing a little experiment with wheat germ oil, which is a complete source of vitamin E. Not 100% sure yet. I thought I was gonna notice more of a difference when taking it. I'm still experimenting. Uh, there's an excellent webinar this guy did on vitamin E and basically explained how you don't want like synthetic derived uh, tocopherols or whatever they're called. Uh, you want the whole wheat germ oil. So few more days I'm going to experiment with this. I don't think it's anything to uh, you know, write home about. My understanding of vitamin E is that it's just to prevent the oxidation of the current food that it's in. It's not necessarily something that you can add additionally to your own diet to like detoxify your fats, but some people have told me otherwise. Not 100% sure on it, but I haven't really been feeling too much of a difference taking it. So that's all the breakfast stuff, and I will take different supplements ranging from vitamin C, magnesium, B vitamins, different minerals depending on the day, but you know, we did a few videos on the supplement protocols if you guys want to check out uh, Oregon supplements. And over here we have our floor stew in the Instant Pot. I actually just made a fresh batch last night. This is a mushroom onion barley stew with collagen broth and beef stock from Frankie's Free Range Meat. We actually got some of the fresh veal chopped up in here. And all the ingredients are organic. This is a super, super high quality stew. Uh, we also put a little bit of coconut cream in there. This is nice because, you know, when I get home uh, from work, you know, I'm exhausted and hungry. I just, you know, plop this in the pan, warm it up a little bit, and I have it with some bread. Uh, we've done many recipes on barley stews. Uh, one was like a full complete recipe, and then we did one which is like a quick five-minute version. If you guys want to try this, maybe we're going to have to do something different for summer though, you know? Barley stew in the summer? Not sure about that. For the bread, we actually have to bake a new loaf this morning, so... Here it is sitting in the fridge from the overnight fermentation. It rose most of the day yesterday, so uh, we'll have a fresh loaf of bread for lunch. And sometimes when I have the fresh bread, I kind of uh, treat myself to some caviar. Uh, we still have all this caviar left over from that tasting we did. So uh, maybe I'll have one today, maybe not. Maybe we'll just do it next week because I do make fresh bread twice a week. Yeah, if you guys want to see some of that veal, uh, we'll probably show it in the vlog next week. We got some veal ribs here. This is the... Uh, fresh ground veal. I actually had some last night in my udon noodles. It's a little lighter than beef, you know, very, very fresh, of course, because this was, you know, literally just slaughtered this week. But really good stuff. If you guys want to try the fresh veal share, we do have it available on uh, Frankie's Strange Meat right now. So I guess we could do a little comparison of the collagen broth versus the beef stock. This is made with meatier bones, and this is just knuckle bones. So there's, you know, this is much more solid amino acids, less flavor. This is, you know, a little more jiggly, still plenty of you know, gelatin in there. As you guys can see, it's not moving at all. But uh, the darker color is from the roasted meat. So both are excellent. Both have different purposes in my diet. I kind of mix them together. Like um, that for dinner there has some of it in it. We'll talk about that later. But I do have my nice little stockpile of water kefir. This is the lime ginger. Some water kefir grains as well. I usually have half a bottle to a bottle with lunch. Um, that's when I've been drinking the water kefir lately. Uh, we're going to have a new batch of apple lemon available on Frankie's Strange Foods today. So if you guys don't know about water kefir, literally saved my gut, saved my health, got me functioning, sleeping well again. So really, really, really important stuff. I can't emphasize that. 
definitely watch my videos on water kefir. We even have some shorter ones on TikTok as well. But uh, the only different thing is I've actually been having like a lot of water kefir grains per meal. Like I'll have almost half of this jar in one meal just to kind of like give my gut the bacteria it needs a little bit of a reset. But then like I won't have to do that again for like another week or so. So, you know, water kefir isn't necessarily something you have to drink every day depending on your health status, but you might. You might have to actually have it every day. It really depends. Yeah, we got all these caviars left over. Um, if you guys missed the caviar tasting, I think that was a month or two ago. That's a pretty, pretty interesting video. Yeah, so lunch is a pretty big meal. And I mean, all of my meals have different components to them, but the amount of work that goes into, you know, making the stew, doing the fresh bread, the water kefir, it's pretty intense. It's, it's very, very serious from a, from a health perspective. Uh, but then I'll just also have an apple with that. So uh, maybe we'll do a full day of eating on next week and we'll show you guys everything laid out. But uh, the recent day of eating videos we've done do have that. And for dinner, we have our udon noodle stockpile. Organic udon noodles. Uh, these are online. These are also at Whole Foods. I, I do have them on my Amazon shop. Um, so these are made with uh, hard red winter wheat that has been holed and refined. So these are really the only noodles that I can eat in my diet. Uh, and I enjoy them for dinner. So as I said, we put the fresh veal on that. I just, you know, sauteed some up in the pan and then put the, the coarse ground into the noodles and that was the protein source for dinner. Uh, usually I do roast beef a lot in the udon noodles. I'll just take home some roast beef so I don't have to cook it. Just slice up the roast beef and put it in with the noodles. But the base of the noodles is our white bean puree. Uh, this is an upgraded version. I'll show you guys the beans we used. This is you know some of the collagen broth and beef stock. Uh, we do the white cannellini beans. We have some canned artichokes in there, some jarred artichokes, very expensive ones. I'll show you those too. Then some sauteed onion in there. Uh, a little bit of coconut oil for fat, but it's just like a, a really good source of fiber because those noodles do not have fiber in them. So that's kind of how I add them, just the beans pureed. And we'll also put a little bit of beef stock in with the udon noodles just to thin it out a little bit because uh, it does get a little thick with that in it. So instead of using these canned, uh, yeah guys, I don't know what happened to my hand. I got some poison ivy or something. Uh, instead of using the organic canned butter beans, which are a little expensive, and they also have... Uh, you know, concerns with the can lining, not really sure. We bought some regular dried cannellini beans. So I soaked these overnight in salted water and then threw them in the Instant Pot the next day. Seemed to work out really good. Maybe we'll do a recipe on that just so you guys know how easy it is to prepare beans. And I think I only have one jar of this stuff left. Uh, this is an organic artichoke brand. I might try to get this on Frankie's Free Range Foods. It's actually the only organic artichokes I've ever found, but these were super expensive. I think they were like $15 per jar. So I'll just take these out, saute them up with the onions and then uh, puree them into the uh, bean dip for some more flavor. We do have some quinoa here that I haven't really tried yet. Uh, I was thinking of doing this for lunch in the summer, not really sure yet as a substitute for the rice. You know, we did the video on the arsenic content of rice, so we'll definitely be avoiding rice moving forward. We got the Frankie steak seasoning in here. I've really been wanting to have some s'mores, but um, we haven't had the fire going lately. We got all the s'more stuff here. We, like, we still have the vanilla marshmallows and there's some chocolate over here too, the organic white chocolate. We did a recipe video on the, the s'mores, uh, I think last year. I mean, that's everything in my kitchen with the exception of the scotch. Uh, maybe we should do a giveaway because I have not been using these. I got myself a little birthday present, but uh, my liver's still not doing so good. Yeah, the rest of the stuff in the fridge is just some seasonings. We might do like uh, some more Asian style beef recipes. Uh, some wine and stuff I'll occasionally make sorbet into and uh, uh, using the stocks. Little water bottle collection on the floor. We use the Mountain Valley and the Fuji. We actually just had recycled yesterday. I just go through so much water every day. Big bag of the organic flour we use for the bread. This is on my Amazon store too. Over here, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. We got some uh, pineapple ginger juice we're going to use to make the teriyaki jerky. <laughs> the most expensive jerky ever. These are like $10 a bottle but uh, I do not compromise on quality for you guys. Yeah, honestly, I'm not a fan of the Bowmore and the Aaron Malt. If any of you guys want them, like maybe some of my supporters and customers are in the chat and they drink scotch. I do like the Dalmore though, so I might want to keep that. Yeah, so that's really everything we've been eating lately. Uh, I do have some potatoes in the cabinet that I will put in the stew on occasion. I actually usually do put some potatoes in the stew. I didn't do it this week, just didn't feel up to it. Uh, maybe we'll do some changes in the summer. Like I have these uh, quinoa crisp uh, pieces that I might do a little coconut milk in and sugar for cereal in the morning and then uh, have the quinoa again for lunch as a rice because you know having like oatmeal and barley stew and stuff in the summer we'll see we'll see how I like that but I'm not really sure 
Uh, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, as I mentioned, some of it's on my Amazon shop. Um, you can go to frank to see all of my interesting businesses where you'll see most of the stuff. You know, all the meat is on the meat website, Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, we got the water key for grains, sourdough starter, everything you need on Frankie's Free Range Foods. And then the supplements, all other miscellaneous stuff, organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, as well as Frankie's Naturals. Uh, I'm happy and uh, looking forward to adding you know, more exciting and creative products on an ongoing basis for you guys. <laughs> uh, I don't think anyone's uh, crazy enough as me. Maybe they just don't have the creativity to, uh, to do new stuff every week, or I've actually lost my mind and I have, oh, I, I don't do anything else besides my business, this guys. But frank .com, check it out. Thanks again for joining. Uh, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment, guys. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. Share it to all the, uh, the Facebook moms, you know, so I can get some DMs, you know, stirring up. Uh, just tell them I'm half of a taller than I actually am. But uh, we'll see you guys soon.